Hey guys, Daniel here and welcome back to the Dan Fam. Today, in this video, we will be talking about the best Minecraft Skyblock mod packs of 2021. Um, obviously, we're going to include mod packs from before 2021, but basically, this is all in my opinion. So if you guys don't agree, that's totally okay. Comment down below what you guys think is the best and I would love to talk with you guys. Obviously, our last video did pretty well. Thank you guys for showing support. I haven't been super active this year, but I'll try to post more when I can. And hopefully you guys share this video with your friends and also go vote in the community tab of my page for what other videos you want to see next. I'm still working on the fan video on like what you guys believe is the best Minecraft mod packs and I need to figure out how to do the voting system so you guys can participate. But other than that, I know I see you guys and we're going to make sure to get that happening. So make sure you guys subscribe, hit that like button, comment down below, and turn on the notification bell so you guys know when I upload next. Let's go straight into the video. At number 5, we have Astroblock. Um, obviously, this is an amazing one. It's created by Nox Hacks. It has around like 192,000 downloads on Curse Forge. This thing always changes, so if you guys see these videos later on, they change the launcher all the time it used to be twitch now it's curse who knows what's gonna be next obviously astro block is in space it's really cool uh you start in the astro asteroid belt you start in space uh you have to repair a couple things and make the fuel work to get back to earth and then after you visit earth you have to travel to other planets and this will give you more access into like other machinery gear and even better rockets and there's also like electric rockets it has a pretty good questing system in my opinion. Uh, it has a lot of rewards and loot systems. And obviously you get to explore the galaxy which is super cool. I really like the mod pack. Um, the, mo the map itself is really interesting. I really like where you start. You can like jump around in space. You don't have to like spend like hours on earth again. Every mod pack is on earth. You know that's kind of boring. When you want to play a cool sky block. Obviously this is a little bit different. But I consider this a sky block. Because you still have to mess around with trees and all that. And obviously, I hope you guys are okay with this selection as well. Now, let's go straight into the next one. At number four, we have Volcano Block by L123. Uh, this is a banger. I love all the mod packs he makes. He's awesome. I use this in a lot of my lists because I love it so much. Um, I believe that it's such a cool experience because you get to do a sky block, but surrounded by lava instead of a void. And the great part is that you don't have to just like be scared of not dying you actually use the lava in a lot of ways so it's super interesting you get a lot of your resources from like farming these weird plants like you can build a like a cobblestone generator plant that like just like shoots out cobble it's super weird and super annoying once you get too many and then you can like cook your baked potatoes by like throwing it in the lava like it's super weird stuff but i just love the creativity of this um apparently you're in the middle of a volcano but i doubt if you look up you'll see the walls or anything um, also, it's like pretty lightweight. It has great questing, has good progression, uh, unique, you know, unique mods here and there. And I really like the experience. It's really just such a cool sky block, and I think you guys will enjoy it as well. So let's go straight into the next one. At number three, we have Septech Ages of the Sky. Now this is a pretty new one. Obviously, everyone knows Septech. It's awesome, but now it's sky block. And that's really all it is. It's a huge map still. Like it's it's in the air, it's in the sky, but like it's it's basically not a sky block, but it is, because like it's in the sky. And I think it's super interesting because you still get all the cool progression, you get the cool quests. The pack focuses on providing the player a long-term progression experience with purpose. Uh Seftek introduces a number of mechanics uh never before done, such as uh hiding ore until unlocked dynamically hidden items and recipes based on progression, new mobs appear as you progress further, and much more. Uh, the mod pack uses the vanilla advancement system to guide the player along while still allowing an open sandbox experience. Um, as you progress through the hundreds of custom advancements, you will unlock new ages which will show you new mods to work through. So that's all it is. It's just like all the other uh, Septex, you know, there's, it's divided by ages. And I think that really makes the questing really fun in this sky block. And that's what makes it different than the others. So if you guys haven't checked it out, definitely go check it out. I'm sure you most have because it's super popular. Let's go straight to the next one. At number two, we have Chemical Exchange. Now this sky block mod pack is created by Al123 as well. 
and I really like this one because it's pretty lightweight, it has progression quests and everything, but it's based around Alchemistry and Project E. This pack puts a new spin on the typical Project E experience. Um, in this mod pack, the only items you can exchange with the transmutation capabilities of the Project E are chemical elements like oxygen, hydrogen, iron, and the general uh, progression of this pack draws inspiration from his other pack which is like antimatter chemistry so obviously if you've played that it would be similar to this but yeah i really love this one because it's like sky it's it's a sky block experience mixed with like chemistry and like mixing chemicals together and that's where all the fun is because obviously you get project d so you can like duplicate those items and like exchange stuff so you don't have to craft everything over and over again but i really love it it puts a fun little twist to skyblock and man i played the fuck out of this <laughs> so yeah if you guys want to try it out definitely go check it out and let me know what you think now let's go straight into our honorable mentions for the honorable mentions i'm gonna have to give a shout out to mod packs such as sky factory we have project ozones we have the modern skyblocks um oh my god even all the mod six is now a sky block one so definitely go check that out equivalent skies is pretty nice too so definitely go check all of those out those are my honorable mentions for now now let's go straight into our number one pick at number one we have the mod pack levitated now levitated is created by mr plus cn um it's a super interesting sky block i'm considering it a sky block because Anything where you have a risk of falling, in my opinion, is a skyblock. So obviously here you're in the end, there's a void. If you fall, you die. So in my opinion, this is a skyblock. Obviously you guys are free to disagree, but I really think this is a unique one. Uh, what it's, this is what it's about. The overworld has collapsed and so has the nether. Will you struggle in the end while the doomsday clock is ticking away or abandon this forsaken place and find a new home? Or will you uncover the story behind the great collapse and rebuild your beloved homestead? Make your choice in this exploration skyblock mixed mod pack. Levitated features some unique gameplay progressions as opposed to traditional grindy recipes. Players sent in the end have to scavenge their way back to the nether. Then they get to explore other dimensions as they build it themselves using the scanner mod. As players come closer to the end of the story, they'll expect alternative endings depending on their choice during the gameplay. So yeah, already super cool built-in story. Uh, it's a mod based around the end, which I find is super interesting. Obviously, your tools, like, what do you do for tools? Exactly. You got to go play to find out. Super interesting. The grind is pretty fun in this. At first, I was a little confused, but I watched some YouTube videos of others playing it, and I kind of got, like, what the initial tasks are and, like, what I need to find and what I need to mine. Uh, you obviously get a lot of ender pearls where you can mine, uh, <laughs> teleport around, so that's really fun. And if you guys haven't checked it out, definitely go check it out. Now let's go straight into the outro. Alright guys, this is my favorite part of the video because I get to thank all of you for sticking around and showing your support. Thank you guys for watching all my videos. I appreciate you all. Make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. I don't put, upload often, so at least now you'll know when I do if you turn on your notifications. Um, I'm going to promote my song at the end of this video. Go give it a listen. I'm super proud of it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, there will be a link to it in the description as well. I also have a Discord server if you want to come join. But mostly just go vote on the community tab what you want to see next, what video you like, and I'll try to get it out as soon as I can. So obviously, I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, just subscribe so you can join the Dan fam. And let's go straight into my song. Now I really wanna thank you Cause I learned what it's like to date a whore 
Stop playing with me, I know you're next guy Probably wasn't better than me Now you see me popping bottles showing up on TV When you go out with your friends, all they mention is me Pain must be a shame All the guilt inside must be insane But I guess that's just the price you pay Cause everybody knows